Hello, I'm Tom, I'm service manager at DAX and completely Land Rover obsessed. Hello, I'm Gav, I'm the Land Rover Master Tech at here at DAC, former JLR Master Technician, 17 years experience. Uh, started with Land Rover back in 2004, left school, did my apprenticeship, worked all the way up to Master Technician. Nothing like a Land Rover, they really do get under your skin. When you've had one, um, you always end up going back to Land Rovers. There's, uh, there's nothing quite like them on the road and they will do absolutely anything you ask of them. On road, off road, towing, they'll, they'll do the lot, they'll do the lot. Land Rovers, it's the only brand I've worked on. I've never really wanted to go away from it. It's sort of in the blood. When you've worked in it for a long time, it's just seems to be the only thing you know. I've had seven or eight discoveries now, but the first discovery I ever bought, I've still got. Yeah, I've had seven or eight discos, but I've still got my first one. The first disco I bought, I've still got. Many discos have given their life to keep this one on the road, <laughs> but still got the first one. I'll probably have one. I'll probably have a disco four. You don't want to buy a disco two then? No, you can give you Disco 2s and they're a bit old out for me. <laughs> no, Disco 4s or some of the newer stuff is pretty decent. The Disco, even Disco Sport. We've been thinking about swapping into Disco 4. They're just, well, they're just a big workhorse, big reliable workhorse. Big workhorse. Have the, weak, have the weak points, but you get over that and it'll be fine. Yeah. So in your eyes, Gav, what makes a Land Rover so unique? I don't know, I think it's sort of the way they keep the customer retention and although they're not the most reliable vehicle, once people have had them, they understand it and they get attached to them. You get attached to your Land Rovers and your Range Rovers. It's just that... You do bond with one like no other car. When they get under your skin, all Land Rovers have got names. Just, no matter how old they are, the bill can be big and the money spent. Keep them in tip top health and they look after you. But they do hold the value as well, they're the good ones so. Interior is sort of... It's everything, it's, the whole package it's of Land Rover. personal when you buy the car, it, because the car is spec to how you want it. And then it's... you got the bits that you can add on to the interior to make it your own as well. Like even just like personalised tread plates. When you open the door it says your name. <laughs> yeah. Or instead of having the uh, all the plastic trims, mine are all painted up in body colour now. Yeah. It just smartens the interior a bit on an old car. Or like just the stitching. So like you could have a clean cream stitching but you could actually have it black stitching to contrast. Alright and Tom, what's your favourite Land Rover to drive? Favourite one's gotta be Julie. 1963 Series 2, she's a beauty, a beauty. So yeah, with, with no heater, very poor lights, no power steering, no synchro mesh on the gears, no power. It's uh, yeah, it's a, it's a challenge to drive her, but it's great fun. You feel like you're going flat out at 25. It's brilliant, but love her to pieces. What is your favourite terrain for driving your vehicles? Best place, got to be the Lake District. Got to be the Lake District, do a few camping holidays up there, drive up there in the Discovery, then can get over a few of the hills and up and down some of the mountains and bits and bobs, and yeah, finish up in a pub next to the campsite. Best place for me. So what's your favourite Land Rover repair, Gav? A tough one to answer, but most repairs, they're individual. There's nothing quite the same. I came up with the same sort of job, but there'll be differences and hiccups along the way, but there's nothing the same. Just like driving them. Just like driving them, yeah. <laughs>